Hello YouTube, thought I'd do a quick video here. I was asked, can you use two GMRS 2A ray repeaters at the same time linked together through the airwaves to achieve more distance? Meaning you have one repeater at one location and you have another repeater at another location uh, to help you know relay the message. And the answer is, from my testing that I've done so far, it seems to. Now, I want to point out a couple things here. I've not tested this for days and days and days and days. Um, I did talk to some people on here, and they said I sounded good uh, running both repeaters. What I mean two repeaters is when I key up this handheld, my repeater one that's in that camper keys up, and so does my other repeater that's on that pole. I don't know if you can see the antenna I made. Because remember, I have two repeaters. When I first started my YouTube channel, I only had the one, the Redivis RT97. Then after a while, I got the Redivis RT97S. So the S model's in there, and the 97's in there. My homemade antenna there, and the other antenna's on that pole. So I'm about, I don't know, what, 100 feet apart? Okay? So... I have a handheld that's programmed to the frequency. So when I key this handheld up, both repeaters are going to key up at the same time. I also have a simplex repeater running inside the camper. It's going to record my voice and play it back. Okay? So let's key this up and, and see if, how it sounds. Radio check. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Okay? Did you hear that? So it sounds really good. Now there's a little bit of a hum that you can hear when I unkey, and I'll try to p see if the microphone will pick it up. That er one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. I don't know if you hear that er That's the only thing I hear. It's not cycling back and forth. Um, now let me tell you how this is being done. Like I said before, I have both repeaters on the same transmit frequency and on the same uh, receive frequency. I'm not running any tones. I don't use, I'm not using any tones. Okay? So maybe that makes a difference if you turn, if you use tones. Um, I, I don't know. But I'm not using any tones. I turned off the squelch tail in the software. You hook the repeater up to the software and you turn off the squelch tail. And I'll show you what I mean by that. I had to do that on both repeaters, okay? So maybe the tones, maybe if I was to turn on my um, uh, CTC uh, tones, uh, then maybe that would make a difference. Maybe that would make it cycle. I don't know. Um, also, too, I like, like you saw, I don't have the repeaters real far apart. Maybe if they were further apart, maybe they'll cycle. I, I don't know, but... You would think they would cycle now being this close. When you go to the Redivis software, repeater software, under Edit, Machine Information, turn off Tail Tone elimina Elimination Off. I also set the, the, the uh, default sets one second. I also turn, even though you're turning that off, I put that also to off. The uh, Relay Tail Delay, I turn that off. So now, when I run just one repeater, if you've been f watching my videos, when I would unkey, you'd hear the ch. Well, if you turn that off, you don't hear the ch. And that will, could would make it cycle back and forth because then the repeater would pick, pick it up and then play it back and then pick it up and play it back. But if you turn that off, um, that seems to, uh, like I, you know, as you heard, it works. Now here is the other repeater. Now also too, if I didn't mention, someone told me it's illegal to link two GMRS two ray, ray, uh, radio repeaters together through the airwaves. So make sure you double check that on the FCC's website. I'm just doing this for a testing. Someone asked me a question and I'm trying to answer it. I'm only doing this for testing purposes. Here is my other repeater. Again, I have the frequency the same. Receive frequency and the transmit frequency the same on both repeaters. Now, 
you don't need to have this hooked up internet to, to, to do this. I have it hooked up for other you know things obviously but to, to do this you don't need it hooked up to the internet um, so you don't need none of that hooked up I'm just doing this through the airwaves like I said when I key up my radio my key up my radio both repeaters key up and I can't really show you that but they both key up now I don't know if you heard that buzz sound like I was telling you um, here is my simplex repeater that records my voice and plays it back through the airwaves I, that's right next to the other the um, repeater that's in here okay so that's how I'm doing that that records and plays back I gotta make this up a little bit better it's 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 okay but it's hooked up to that laptop and so that's what you hear when it plays it back now I'm gonna go back out here and I'm going to try to show you, let's see if we can kind of hone in on that little hum noise you hear, and let me go over here, let's go by this other repeater here, and I'm going to try to do this one more time, like I said, I, I've, you know, I've tested this for a little bit, you know, it seems to work, I'm not getting any cycling back and forth, so, you know, so in theory, Let's pretend if this was a this was one repeater, and this is the other repeater. And if you're f f you know further you know, a mile or so apart, they should communicate. If I go down the middle of them and talk, both repeaters should pick up uh, theoretically. And if I'm closer to this one, it would pick up from here, and then it would actually you know obviously transmit out because if it's a repeater, you're going to have your antenna high. Same with this one here. If I'm closer to here, talking and this pick up in this repeater, it should transmit to that one. Theoretically, that's what I think. But you know, um, but like I said, I just started testing this. So let's key up. I'm gonna go in the shade here. Let's key up this other handheld. Let's key up this handheld and see if I can pick up that buzz. Radio check one two three four four three two one. Nope, that time I didn't do it. Once in a while, I hear that little buzz. It's not bad. I, I don't know. Maybe the microphone did pick it up. But at any rate, that's how I'm doing that. Turn off the squelch tail in the software. Make sure both repeaters on the same frequency, the same transmit, same uh, receive frequency. And uh, give it a try and play around. Like I said, though, you might want to check with FCC if you're going to leave it up because it, that's, that may be illegal from what I've been told. Um, I don't know for sure. I didn't double check it, but um, that's uh, you know what I've someone told me, and uh, the people I've talked on here said I sounded good, so it seems to work work good. I haven't done it for days and days and days and days, but I've done it uh, for a little while, and uh, they said it sounded good. They didn't you know didn't hear nothing bad about it, and like I said. You gotta hook up your repeater to your to the software and turn that off. Under Edit, Machine Info, you gotta turn off the tail tail tone eliminator. So turn all that off. Uh, but anyway, right, post what you think. Post down below uh, what your thoughts on this. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. Please subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.